Thursday, 1657, 45 seconds, year 2024, 7th month, July 11th day. Hands are kind of dirty now. And this is the progress on the saw so far. Got the strip bolted in here. Bolted in right there. And it just happened to screw in tightly too. And this one's going in here. I'm gonna bolt it right, right in here. So I got this is set so that it's setting down low like that to give to give more strength. And this has got more strength that way into the green plastic. This part here is solid at the edge right here from the edge to the top that's solid so it's kind of going through it a little bit about that much but uh, the tension the tension pull supposedly so the tension pull well, it's pulling it down there but it's pulling it up over here supposedly Brother would have to loosen that up again. Yeah. Loosen that up. And then pull it. So, put this here. Put it this way. Loosen this, and then pull it, pull it with tension, best as could be, and then tighten it. That's that. All right. Now this one over here. Also, the brother shimmed up a custom block here. And of course, this goes right in here. It's gonna go right in there. And it's curved right here because the body is curved going down that way. And once that's on there, it's curved going down that way. So this is also curved and it fits right on in there. The, that way there'll be a bolt that goes through this hole and brother had to melt the nibs off there were plastic nibs here to grip onto the wood and filed those all the way down with the nib grinder there. And here's, here's some of the melted, mel melted nib grinder right there. Nice blue stuff, green stuff there. And there's more plastic down here to get. If the brother wants to melt some stuff. Melt, melt plastic in there, heat it up in the pan, and then pour it in there, as well as other plastics. Brother will have that happen in there. Pour it in there somehow. Get it in there somehow, some way. Probably remove the plating here. This plating's been reversed the other way. So, it looks like it goes this way anyway. So, for some reason, that's there to, probably to protect the chain if it comes off. So, it'll stop right there. 
So, now... Actually get it this way. So if brother wants to get this so that the hole is offset. Get the hole so it's offset, so it has to be pulled and stretched. So the hole's going to go here. It's going to have to go down like that. Oh, the brother can see. Oh yeah, and then it'll, it'll be it'll be cut right there. That way the handle will still be good. Cut that there right in there file that down so it doesn't so this is going to go inside here and then bolt in there so pull it like this Pulling it toward me pretty tight without ruining the vise. Okay, so that's on there. Now, my brother actually wants to cockeye it and get a smaller drill. This will be the bolt that's going to go in there. This one here. It'll fit in like that. But it'll be forced in cockwise. So you get a figure. You gotta think, you gotta think this one through. want to force it cockwise so that it's got tension on it when it's pushed through. So, okay, so the hole needs to come this way more. And it is a little bit smaller than the hole. Brother forces it, forces the hole over this way more. Okay, this is gonna come in here. It's gonna have to get in there some way, somehow. Uh, brother can put it in backwards. You can see it'll go in backwards. So be sure this screws in backwards. Yeah. And then brother will get some lock washers at the hardware store. Get this in so it goes backwards. Because inside here it's curved. Let's turn the light on first. It's curved inside there. So you have to put it in backwards. Otherwise the flat part, washer flat part will be in the way. It won't quite get in there. So. All right, so now the brother's gonna offset. Bring it, bring it, bring the hole this way. Let's get that out of the way. So drill a smaller hole over here.
So here's the smaller hole going that way. So now when the brother uses the next one, which will be this one here, it'll go straight in there and it'll make a it'll make a straight on straight on hole through and the hole will be even but it'll be more cockeyed it'll be over more to the left so as to stretch that out so now this can be loosened Change the drill bit. Brother's thinking that this saw is going to be stronger than it was before. <laughs> Get much more years out of it. Many, many more going on into, into forever lands. Too low though to be able to latch on to the bolt though. Well, that'll be alright because if the brother needs to, he'll just put the bolt in this way. But like it might it's gonna have a lot of a lot of edge when it goes in there so it'll probably it'll probably go in there so, so here goes I'll, I'll lean more going up up with the hole fits in the hole it's gonna have to be a screw in so that's good too so might as well just screw it in for now It's going at an angle for now. See, it's going at the wrong angle. But, should be able to uh, adjust all that out once it gets in there. Even if you have to drill the hole out a little more and give it room to Jimmy. Because once, once this goes flat, automatically straighten everything out so that's putting a lot of tension on this make sure that goes down hold that casing together. So, might as well go out and get the eight inch. Now he's piddling around with that for now. Well, I'm the eight inches inside in the bucket. That way the brother can put more pressure on it 
screwing it in to get the threads going. Boobs the cat's over here licking cleans. Yeah, it's cooler today. It's, it's 80 degrees in here, so. It was close to 90 and 100. There's the temperature outside. It's 90 outside, but it was up to 100 last couple days. So coming here and playing with the timer switch. Thing might have got put the crescent ridge might have got put back uh, this fucking heat heat's coming from this roof up here that's for sure we'll use this crescent wrench for now seems like the brother already had a crescent wrench out there turn off the lights Brother hasn't, sister brother hasn't eaten yet today. Been kind of fasting, so. Ah, there's the crescent wrench. There it is, so. Let's see if this one fits here. Yep. in here and see if it'll grab doesn't want to grab yet All right, it's starting to go straighter now I straighten it out more that doesn't want to go on there quite yet now it kind of does still doesn't want to go on there So, looks like the brother's going to change these out. Looks like this is the same size here. Yeah. But, let's get it all the way in and see what happens. Said if the brother needs, he can turn it around the other way. not to break the plastic just to get it to dig into the plastic just enough Get a 
picture. Might as well get a picture here. So here it's going in there. You can see it's rubbing up against that edge right in there. Don't want to break anything in here because that's the handle area. But it looks like it'll bolt holds in place and it looks like it'll just dig in. And there it wants to turn. So if the brother wanted, he could use a pair of pliers and get in there. Anyway, so that's that's the update. And that'll hold that together like that. Look at that. Oh, look at that. You know, although the you know, the blade the blade is leaning in here. So that's just the way it goes for now. Suppose if the brother wanted, he could put a, a metal piece in there to flatten all that out, put a piece of metal right up in there, you know, rest against the bar and this metal piece here. And this comes out. A screw there so if it needed to it could be bolted right there with a metal piece put a bolt in there or some type of metal block inside there and drill a hole through it yeah that's looking looking quite dandy Quite dandy so far. That'll be good for that right there. And then can just cut that with the with the scissor majiggers here. Actually, what the brother should have done was bend this, bend this corner over, round it off. So, yeah, I'm gonna pull this back out. here round bend it right here at the middle hole and yeah. yeah, get these holes Get that together there. Okay. See this like this. See how that is. 
and then it just goes through. And then I'll just squeeze it with the pliers. Not, not crimp it all the way, just keep it round on the edge. Just keep it round on the edge here. Get a better view. Just keep it round on the edge and then this part inside here will cr she'll crimp. So. Now, let's get this back in here. Put the bolt on too early, it wanted to start turning, start getting stuck, stuck the wrong way. Well, that just gave more, uh, more thickness for it. There might not be enough reach now to put the bolt on properly. Don't want to break anything though. to start turning so the brother could probably just hold it with the pliers and That is beautiful. There's nothing obstructing anything. That sucker is tight. And if the brother wanted to, he could, I'm sure, pull this plate off, put another bolt right in there. Put a couple just to, just to hold that in spot put more tension on it so it doesn't slip off I doubt it'll slip off but it'd be nice to put another one that'll ensure that it won't slip off and put one over here too so that'll be for the next videos that's that so Here's the Forex market. Euro US dollar. Here's the uh, gold. There's silver. 3107. It went up this morning. Last night, the brother wanted to get into this Euro trade, but it just wasn't allowing anything. But it only went down because the news came out. That's the only reason it went down, so usually don't get in when the news is ready to go. So that's the way it goes. There's the Aussie. Went up and went all the way back down.
pound. Supposedly it's in a wave five. Wave five phenomenon, Elliott wave, one, two, three, four, five, and it made a five, supposedly. But it broke out of a weekly triangle, so it might just be having a retest and then keep on going. And there's the breakout on the daily. And there's the Elliott wave phenomenon. One, two, three, as it broke out of the triangle. It broke out on the on the wave five, but it exploded in a wave five. Anyway, so that's that. So, later.